everything else in your life is easy. It is a sport that can literally, literally imitate life. You train for thousands of hours, and in the span of three minutes, you're on a mat with your opponent, and you either lose alone or win alone. All the while, thousands of eyes are on you, just you. For the athletes of Taft High School in the Bronx, wrestling helped define la lucha, or the fight, that they all have in themselves. I know it's your first match. I know some of you are nervous. You're ready. You put in hours and hours of work. Be positive, have fun. Your teammates are in your corner. Your coaches are in your corner. We're good? Yes. You ready? Yes. How do you feel? I feel good. Break down. Break down. Break down. Break down. Oh my gosh. It's all been documented in a film called Lucha, which I mentioned before means fight, and it is based on the true story of the girls' wrestling team at Taft High School in the South Bronx. And we are so lucky that we are joined now by some of the stars of that film, Shirley Paulino, Naija Jennings, and their coaches, Joshua Lee and Robert Carrillo. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for having me. So this, this story is near and dear to my heart, A, because I'm from the Bronx, B, I love sports, C, I really love women in sports. <laughs> and the story is phenomenal. Robert, we talked about how sports has the ability to transcend everything. So Shirley, I wanted to start with you, if that's okay. <laughs> um, you are you're the, 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 the mainstay, you're the leader of the team, at least as I was observing it. Um, Niaja, you often talked about wanting to be like <laughs> Shirley. Be like course. Shirley. What initially drew you to the sport? Because you, you don't hear a lot about wrestling, period, unless you're in that community, and you certainly don't hear about it in the Bronx. Yeah, um, so I saw a flyer. Uh, it was hung up somewhere in the cafeteria and it said, come try out wrestling. And I just felt like that was a calling. I thought it said, hey, Shirley, come meet us <laughs> at the cafeteria. <laughs> it's like free candy. And it was like, yeah, basically. And, and, um, and I saw that there was Sam there who was actually the first girl to be at a boys team the season prior. So she kind of really opened the, the pathway for, for many of us. Yeah. Short of telling the whole story, um, enough struggles on the map, being an athlete, being a wrestler, but you struggled with things at home. You were homeless. Um, and I don't want to give anything away because I want people to watch this film, but I wonder, how did wrestling help you with other aspects of your life? Oh, well, um, there's a lot of things that you learn um, in wrestling, a lot of things that touch your heart and just want to you just want to keep coming back to it. Yeah. It's, it was my home for the home that I didn't have at home. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a very good way of putting it. Um, hey, Asia, we saw your evolution <laughs> as a wrestler. The first season, your grades were not up to par. I was yelling at that TV screen when I was watching it as a former teacher. I was like, get, you had an 80 in Spanish and now you got a 65, what's wrong with you? <laughs> So, what, drew, what drew you to it? And talk to us about your, your experience. So I actually had a, a best friend when I was in high school, and he was just like, come on, Nyjah, just do it one time. I promise you'll love it. You're my best friend, so if you're with me, you're going to ride this out too. And I was like, sure, sure. And uh, from there, it was just like a, a, a love. Like, mm -hmm. Lee gave that, that spark in me that I didn't even know I had. He was like, hey, you did this cartwheel one time, you can do it a thousand mm -hmm. times. Come on now, let's get it. Yeah. And then like, it was a consistent, well, if he thinks I can do that, let's show him what else I can do. And then That's it was right. a consistent, you know, over and over, let's show Lee what I can do. That's right. And yeah. by Lee, you mean yeah. this strapping young man <laughs> in the middle, Joshua Lee. Um, you're their coach. And I couldn't help but notice that as I watched you throughout the film, I saw you grow as a person. That was my casual observation, and I wonder what you learned from them, because you are also a wrestler, um, working in a school with zero resources um, in the South Bronx. So, so what did you learn over the course of this, making of this film? Yeah, I've said many times, I think I probably learned more from the girls than we were ever able to teach them. Um, I gained perspective, yeah. um, having not grown up in a city or even a town. I think at one point there's a scene where you're looking over the South Bronx and you were like, there are more people in this block yeah. than in my entire, yeah. <laughs> in my entire yeah, state. Yeah, I grew up surrounded by fields, so um, the New York City was different. The Bronx mm -hmm. was definitely different. Um, learning about food deserts, mm 
-hmm. was new. Um, seeing what the kids were eating or sometimes not eating. Yeah. And wrestling is such a, uh, a weight conscious sport. You have to watch what you eat. Nutrition's super important. And I think the biggest thing I learned was just how resilient the kids are. Um, they, weren't, they weren't gonna give up, so we weren't gonna give up. I mean, there was several times, you know, I think every season, every coach, after they've been in it for a while, starts to think, nah, it's probably my last season. Probably last <laughs> one. And I mean, how many I, seasons we, we has it been? This was like 11, 20, 11, 10. no, no, <clears throat> 20 something if we can't, two seasons per year plus the middle school, wow. so like 22 seasons so far. So you're still in the lucha, you're still in the fight. Oh uh, Yeah, still coach in middle school. That's yeah. right. That's not, right. I'm not there every single day sure. as much. Well, but, you yeah. need a feeder program. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And Robert, I have to give this shout out because the, the viewers and my producers love when I say, where'd you go to college? Wesleyan University. Oh, Wesleyan, sorry. Yes, <laughs> go <you>. West. <laughs> <laughs> you brought this to my attention. Um, you grew up in New York City. Yes. And you said you have to watch this film. And and you said when you met these young girls, you saw something special. Yeah. Talk to me about that because it's now a full length feature film. It is. And actually, you know, it all started with Samantha, as Shirley mentioned. Mm -hmm. She was the first girl on the boys' wrestling team. And really, when she came out and wanted to wrestle, um, that was our calling, right? I knew right then that we had something special. Right, because we weren't expecting it. And, and it's crazy how the story, I just learned this last night in, in talking with Sam, but we got an opportunity to have her on the wrestling team because she got turned down from playing on the boys' soccer team. Yep. So the boys' coach actually laughed at her when she asked if she could try out for the boys' team. No. Luckily for us, she, uh, she took that as a, as a slight yeah. and, and came and went at a trial mm -hmm. for the boys' wrestling team. And we welcomed her with open, open arms. arms. Again, we knew that that was a, a pivotal moment in our lives. I think we, right. Josh and I knew right then that our lives you had something would special. be different. And then once we had the girls' season and then just hearing the stories, like once you hear their stories um, even deeper beyond what's shown in the documentary, right. uh, we knew we had to document it. Right? And really f so that other folks could see what it is that the South Bronx has, what it is that girls can provide for the sport. Uh, so that's why we did it. Well, because even in the, in the girls' offseason, you wrestled with the boys. That's right. Yeah. How, how different was that? Because I have it that they were afraid of you. So uh, in my uh, opinion, <laughs> uh, the boys were a lot more rough. Mm -hmm. On occasions, because some boys, of course, were afraid to wrestle mm -hmm. women, to break anything. You know, women are so fragile and dainty, <laughs> you don't want to hurt them. <laughs> and um, <laughs> after a while, I wanted to show them, like, I'm not that scared. I'm not that dainty. I'm going to put you in the mat, and we're going to get this pin. So after consistently wrestling with boys, it was like a kind of like a great warm-up to yeah. wrestle the girls, mm -hmm. because now I'm rough and tough and rugged mm -hmm. and ready to throw anybody down to the mat at this point, mm -hmm. no matter what you have on, what type right. of your hairstyle is, it's time to go, all right? We have just scratched the surface oh, with yeah. your stories. This is a film. It is not yet for release, but it will be. That is your teaser. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, I want you guys to come to where my boys wrestle and show them because... Oh, cool. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. yeah. Nice. I'm, I'm in this world. I was yelling at the TV saying, <laughs> Build your base! <laughs> Turn! <laughs> the film is called Lucha. We will let you know when it is out for release. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.